What we have here, Peggy, is a setup to show you the benefits of contrast and making things larger as well. So if I just show you, this is a standard phone. So we've got grey buttons. That's very hard to And print. white print, that's very hard. But if we move over here, we've got a large print phone. Yes. Nice black background and big white letters, yeah. uh, numbers. Yeah. And in the same way, if we look at the time on this clock here, very hard to see those little lines there and the hands as well, compared to a large print clock. You've got big numbers. Yeah. They're nice and bold. And it's 4.35 p.m. I can also talk to you. So we can, we can enhance little things at home to make oh, yes. everything a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Yeah. And another thing is making out a shopping list. So this has been done with a biro on normal yellowy paper. No, a bit hard to see. That. Whereas if we use a felt tip pen, a oh, lined yes. paper. Yes. It's easier I to can write. I those with our class. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Excellent. So all of these things make things bigger, brighter and bolder. And I think they all make a little bits of difference that can make life a lot easier. They do, mm. yes. What we can do is refer you to an occupational therapist to take a look at more of these things. So perhaps that's what we'll do. After optometry assessment, have a think about other tools and non-optical devices that can help patients in their daily lives. This is the adaptive equipment setup at the Australian College of Optometry Low Vision Clinic. We do accept referrals from all practitioners, so not just ophthalmology, optometry can refer as well. We can see some large print clocks here and watches. And here's a remote control. And again, bigger, brighter and bolder. So looking with the same principle at telephones, bigger, brighter and bolder for patients. And large print phones come in standard formats as well as for uh, mobile phones. And as we demonstrated to Peggy, we can get large print notepads, phone books and pens that can assist. Some technology here to barcode and tag household items, but we always don't have to use technology, we can use something low tech like the elastic bands you can see on the cans here. Pouring aids, including liquid level sensors, can be very helpful and these liquid level sensors basically prevent overfilling. And as many patients, Peggy did benefit from lighting. If lighting is beneficial, we can take a look at variable globe wattage and types. And it's important that we have adjustable arms on these devices as well. You can see this illuminated magnifier lamp and that can be very beneficial for patients who require low magnification as well as lighting and a hands-free solution.